Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect here on the Game Professor channel. I'm your host, the Game Professor, and it is time for us to continue our investigation of Saren, taking advantage of the information that we got from Barlavan concerning the Shadow Broker and Saren. So we know that there is a Krogan down in the... In, in, uh, at CSEC and because of that we will be able to go checking him out there I've had my office rearranged five times hmm. five times why what do they want how should I know it's not like keepers offer an explanation for what they're doing Yet, everyone just lets them go on doing whatever it is they do. Hmm. What choice do we have? If you try to stop them, they just shut down and another one replaces it. Just strange that we know so little about them. Not to mention frustrating. Very interesting. Speaking of keepers, another one there. Um, so... Because we're over here, I'm going to check out the consort right now. Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Um, yeah, I need an appointment. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Okay. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in, um, three or four months. Huh? Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? Okay. Um, tell me about the consort. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. Okay. Um, and the, the general implication of the consort is that she's more along the lines of a courtesan or prostitute type person. The reality is that she is not that, and that there is much more depth and variance to the services she provides, which is what Nalina is explaining, but it doesn't change the fact that that is the impression that most people have. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Alright. What about you? What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. Yeah. Okay, how? What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. All right. Um, and so the sounds interesting just makes her take your name again um so not necessary i think i'm done here oh well i hope you'll return again in the future we always enjoy seeing new clients nalina yes shaira send the commander up to see me i wish to speak with her yes of course mistress and greater implication of the inherent sexual quality of her um huh it appears the consort has taken notice of you she'd like to meet with you now 
okay. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. All right. And if you ask why, she just says, I don't know. You'll find out, <laughs> essentially. There's a human attendant. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Cool. All right. Um, I guess the closest comparison to the real world that could be made for the consort and her acolytes is maybe the geisha of feudal Japan, but even that is a very soft comparison, um, but al also definitely has some of the misinterpretation by people about what their function is, so... Interesting to consider. What's up, Shaira? That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. Um, what do you want? You wanted to speak with me? I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Okay. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What went wrong? What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. Okay. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. All right. Interesting. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. All right. And, yeah, there... I'm not even sure that the game really knew entirely what they wanted her to be. Which is why there's this weird... Obviously flirtatious, obviously kind of sexual tension context to everything with her. Um, one element of that could be the fact that the Asari were kind of intended to be the, the sexy green alien chick trope for the game. Um, like... If you know science fiction, you probably know that trope fairly well. The um, You have the slave girl in uh, Star Wars Re Return of the Jedi. Yes, I, I love Star Wars. How am I mixing things up? But the... You have the, yeah, the slave girl in Return of the Jedi. Uh, you have, I know Star Trek less well, but the, uh, the green character from the original series. And obviously that's where the green alien chick, as far as I know the trope, that's where that comes from. But... In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support yeah, that for makes future sense. projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, because when you think about it within the context of this future and just general colonialism, there's always an investment aspect to it. But here we are in CSEC, and there is our Krogan. How's it going, Rex? Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. Mm -hmm. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. 
Oh, Rex. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. Um, you can help me. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. And what goal is that? Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. Hmm, okay. What'd he do? He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. Okay. Yeah, what what was in it for him? What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the Corian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He paid Fist a small fortune for her. Hmm, all right. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. Uh, well, I would say we have to find her. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. And the Shadow Broker? I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. I don't know if you heard Fuzzy, but he was just over here and uh, clearly trying to get my attention for some reason, but then he just walked away. But yeah, I'd say we could use Garrus. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Okay. Alright. I am going... I'm going to bring Rex because... Right now, he is a, a good option to have. And then... We have a lot of combat strength right now. Oh, I would usually bring Ashley for the girl power, but right now, just to balance out the squad strength, I'm going to go with Caden. I like having a balanced squad. Ooh, level up. Let's take care of that. I can go one into sniper rifles, and I'll go into tactical armor, because... Right up there, that's where I can start equipping medium armor. And that's nice to have. Go to Decryption and Electronics. And for you... Um... I am going... Well, I'll throw some into your warp, because that'll be useful. And then I'll put the rest into Assault Rifles for you. Because... You are more of a shotgun sort of guy, so being able to get you to that is good. Alright. Now... Can go this way. We're basically just getting a nice tour of the Citadel over the course of these episodes, roughly. I will be using rapid transit more frequently as we get through the game more, but for right now I really do like to take advantage of the wider exploration that you can do within the space. And being able to get all of the keepers eventually, that will be significant down the line. But for now, oh, these two are ones that don't have anything to say to each other. That is one interesting element, is trying to figure out how to get the, the combinations of squad mates to get conversations to happen. And I, I don't think 
Lang really has anything to say to us. I actually might have cut off. Huh. Oh, they're talking about the uh, the Destiny Ascension. Okay, interesting. But get another keeper here. Let's check out this med clinic where Garrus should be. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. All right. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Okay. Well, at least Garrus is a good shot. All right. All right. Come on. Really, Rex? There we go. Now, why am I using a pistol? There we go. Do you have a pull? You don't have pull. That'd be too much to ask. Oh, you have throw. Will that do anything? Oh, perfect! I wasn't actually sure that that would do anything. There we go. And then one more. One more dude over here. Let's... Will you let me... Really, Caden? Definitely an element of the combat that is really annoying, just how epically in the way your squad mates can get. Yeah, let's talk to Garrus. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Uh, uh I'm gonna say nice shot. Yeah, because that was a nice shot. Uh, no, it was eh, da. It was a big risk. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Um. Yeah, we can protect you. I know those men threatened you, but if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The one I told you about, Shepard. Okay. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. All right, we need to find her. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Um. Yeah. Why do you hate Saren? You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. All right. Sounds good to me. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. All right. Now, um, I do want Rex there. In part because <laughs> there's a bit of an amusing interaction that you can have. Um, and ah, you'll learn quickly what my go to squad is, but right now my go to squad literally is not available. So. <laughs> Um, this is why I struggle at this point. Um, you know what? I feel like Ashley and Rex could have interesting conversations. Let's go with Ashley and Rex. <laughs> All right. So I got some Paragon points. Um, what's my Metagel state? Okay, that looks good. So, time to go 
to the club. Lots of good fun. I could just... I think I could fast travel. Oh. Who are you? I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? Sure. What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Okay, how are our investigations linked? How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. Alright. Um... Why me? You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I've read your file. If anyone is going to uncover corruption here, it's the hero of the Skillian Blitz. Okay, that makes no sense, but okay. What's your source? How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. All right. Um, I'm going to be more neutral on this. We'll see. No promises, but if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. All right. Looks good to me. So now we're going to go through the markets. Again, I'm kind of just trying to show you all as much of the Citadel as possible. And this is an easy way to make sure that I get the keepers that are most obvious here. Is that really? Wow! It's you. And Conrad Werner. All right. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Um. Hello. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. Um, yeah, I just tried to help. I spent most of my time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Okay. Here you go. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. Okay. And... I can actually show you, if you haven't played before. <laughs> the fan. You've been approached by Conrad Werner. He seemed like a harmless fan. What harm could there be in talking with him? That is a weird way of saying it, but it is what it is. Um, I will put combat armor and assault training for you. One sec. Oh, thought my Fitbit vibrated and I didn't know why. But, I do think that because we've already done so much of this investigation, one combat interaction will be skipped. And that would be a combat interaction out here. Yep. It's skipped. But we can see we have enemies within. Um, oh boy. Why, why did it open already? Ash. I will destroy you. Oh boy. Really, Ashley? There we go. Just trying to get the people I can get. Oh, come on. I'm gonna heal everybody up so that they're, they're not about to die. Come on. 
Come on. Of course Rex dies. Come on. Ashley, please don't die on me. Oh, come on. Of course, that Krogan Battlemaster is coming. Alright. I'm probably going to die. But this is why I like to have rounds that continue to do damage, because now... Let's get out of the way. Heal myself. Not that that's going to do a lot right now. Do I have overkill? I do, yes. Hooray for overkill. Come on. Come on. You know that I'm getting you, stupid thug. There we go. Okay. Now. Enemy is everywhere. Of course, a shotgun. Enemy is everywhere. Come on. There we go. Get rid of you. Now, there's going to be a bartender up here to get. Or a thug. There we go. Now... Still not in a position to get my teammates back up. Come on. Really? This is ridiculous. There we go. Let's get this guy first. We'll blow that up. So it will hopefully. Oh, come on. Headshots should do more damage. Come on. One more. Come on. There we go. Now, they are good. This is why you want to have first aid. Oh, actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's just see. That was... Let's see, anything better? Ooh, possibly a better human armor for Ashley. Oh, that is considerably better. Yes. Oh, that's the heavy armor. Um, yeah, the medium armor is still pretty considerably better, so we'll do that for you. Ooh, that's a pretty good-looking armor. Um, nothing good in terms of armor upgrades, though. What is... Um... More damage is good. Do I have... Eh, more damage. Not in sup Not that much lower in terms of the um rather words, the uh the accuracy rating. My god, I'm I'm struggling today, guys. Sorry about that. Um, but, let's see, and yeah, I'm gonna continue with my rounds that do additional damage, because I like those. And here, we should be able to get around these guys. Stop right there, don't come any closer. Okay. Warehouse workers, all the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. Save yourselves. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. 
Yeah, I never liked Fist anyway. <laughs> All right. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. All right. And in looking at my time right now, I do think this is a good point to stop the episode. I'm right about at 30 minutes. So thank you everyone for watching as always be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you always know when i have new videos coming out and follow the links to the discord and facebook page to join the conversation um definitely the the investigation part at this point is a bit of a slog i realize so thank you for bearing with me uh we'll fit we'll uh, start off next episode with confronting Fist himself as well as getting the Quarian on our side. So thank you for watching. Thank you for checking out this part of the story of Mass Effect for me. I think that it's a really important element of what makes the first game the kind of RPG that it is. So always happy to have everybody here watching. And until next time, I hope you... I keep trying to go back to my old sign off, which uh, where I ask people to think critically about games and I'm not doing that anymore. So I'll see you next time, everybody. This is your game professor signing off. <laughs>